So the final piece of the puzzle is publishing. So once we have that, once you have your pages timeline filled out with all of your movie clip example pages or application pages, storybook pages, whatever it is that you're building, um, then you'll want to go to the properties panel and you can choose either Air 3.4 for Android or Air 3.4 for iOS. Now for Android, uh, you click the little wrench settings here and everything is already preset um, in terms of um, the settings, the names, the versions. Um, you may want to check the icons when you switch between Air for Android and Air for iOS, particularly this 36 by 36 will kind of get lost. So you just want to make sure if one's not there, you just click the folder and go find it in your application directory. There we go. Okay. Um, the permissions, languages, general, don't have to worry about the deployment tab. This is where um, you have to have the certificates. Now for Android, this is just a self-signed certificate. Um, you could create a new self-signed one yourself here through Flash if you wanted. Um, but you have the pass per, password, which is KCAD, DM, KCAD, DM, digital media. And you would click to install the application on your connected Android device and probably launch it and voila, that would create the Android application for you. Um, iOS is can be a little more difficult because in order to publish, um, you have to already be a member of the Apple Developer Center, $99 annual payment, um, and then you have to go in and again, the general the icons, you want to check the iPad icons, make sure they're all there. Um, the deployment tab is where it gets complicated because you need not only a certificate, but also a provisioning profile. Actually, on top of that, whether you're developing or deploying to an app store, um, you have to have separate versions of those also. Um, but uh, it's, that, that would be another tutorial session in itself to go through this process with Apple. Um, there is in the accompanying blog post to this video, there's some links towards the bottom um, to the developer center as well as a good tutorial. Um, a reference from Adobe explaining kind of how to go through this process and get these documents. Um, but once you have these documents, uh, then you can use the developer certificate with the password, the mobile provisioning center or password, and you can go ahead and publish. Now, you can't publish with the ones that we have in place with the application here because um, Apple actually ties the publishing to a specific device and we use this to publish the students works directly to um, our Kendall iPad and uh, Android tablets. So if you want to use this to publish for Apple you certainly can and all of the presets are there but you'll have to set up your own account and your own app ID and really learn the Apple publishing process.